Hi everyone, this is Paul from Great Outdoor Fitness with another online uh, video workout for you. Today I'm joined by one of our instructors, the, uh, this is Paul, a uh, very fit guy, watch his form on the exercises, okay, you'll pick up a lot of tips. Uh, that's Charlotte. And <laughs> this is Charlotte, one of our members, uh, who's been coming for many years, okay. Anyway, uh, so as usual, we'll start off with a warm up, so let's start swinging our arms forward to the front, just like so. All we need now is one of the neighbours to turn up really loud music. <laughs> okay, going backwards with your arms now like so. So obviously our, our class is in the park and now currently cancelled. So for now, online workouts. So let's see how it goes. Across the body with the arms. Good. And let's go front core the arms now. Good. Just lean forward slightly. Good. And change your backstroke. And steady there. Feet shoulder width apart, guys. Twisting left, right. Uh, sorry, left twice and then right twice. Good. And change the side bends. Have you already trained today, guys? No. No, I did on a run. Oh, really? What did you do? Six miles. Six miles, good. How many miles this week, Paul? 25. 25. Bad week. Dropped off a cliff. Bad yeah. week. <laughs> Good. Okay, steady there, guys. Just take your legs wide and just drop side to side. Like so. That's it. Good. Good. And take your legs wide. Go as low as you can. Good. Take both hands to the left. Good. Both hands to the right. Good. And back to the left. Good. Back to the right. Good. Down to the middle and come up right all i want you to do is just run you on the spot flicking your toes out to the front good good out to the side good out to the front good and just standing still there feet and knees together hands on your thighs just dropping down and up like a side good and we'll stay down start circling around and change direction and down and up good and stand up there again just running on the spot again feet to the front Good, and leaning forward slightly, bringing your heels up to the rear now. Good, so you're kicking your heels up high. Good, trying to stay upright at the same time. Good, at the same time, start bicep curling with the arms. Good. Good work guys, still going, but bring your knees up this time, and shoulder press as well this time. Good, so knees up and shoulder press, 10 more seconds. Good. Excellent guys, feet together, jumping on the spot. Good. Excellent guys, just very slightly jump left and right. Just slightly left and right. Good. Good, slightly forward and back. Good. Good, and steady there again. Again guys, we're gonna go wide with the legs and go as low as you can. Good, and reach up to the sky. Good, and go back down. And reach up. Good, and press up position. Good, take your right foot to the outside of the right hand. That's it, and just try and keep your uh, left leg straight and try and lower your hips slightly towards the ground. Good, and change sides. Good, and one more time, change sides. Good. And change last time. Good, good, good. Okay, guys, steady there. Stand up, feet shoulder width apart. We're gonna squat down, grab hold of our ankles, and using our elbows. Okay, stay upright, chest forward, pushing your knees out to the side. Perfect. Good. Excellent. And relax, stand up, and we'll go back one more time. So down, push out. Shoulders back, chest up, hold that position. Good, and stand up there guys. Jumping on the spot, take a little step back there Charlotte, and jump on the spot, add a squat this time. Good, excellent guys. One jump in the middle, good. A little bit lower each time. Good, we're gonna keep going for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six. So if you're at home and you can't do the jump, you just do normal squats, down and up, controlled like so. Good, and running on the spot, knees up high, 10 seconds. Fast feet, high knees. 
or just getting your knees as high as you can. Good, keep it going guys for five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Back to those squats again. So up feet together, down feet apart. Good, for another five, four, three, two, one. Heel, uh, knees up again, sorry guys, 10 seconds. Good, faster, pump the arms at the same time. Good, last seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Five press ups, go. Good, control them guys, don't go too quick. Good, so you can put your knees down if you need to, or with your knees off the floor like these two are doing. Good, when you're done, stand up guys. Good, last time, jumping on the spot with a squat. Good, excellent, good. Stay as upright as you can, a little bit lower, Charlotte. Perfect. Keep it going, guys, five more seconds, then we've got high knees one more time as well. Good. Excellent, guys, and change. Knees up high, everybody. Pump the arms at the same time, 10 more seconds, and then we're gonna move into a workout from the warm up. Good, five seconds more, four, three, two, one, excellent guys. So press up position down. We're gonna go rep numbers, 10, 14 or 18 press ups, off we go. So if you class yourself, it's okay, slightly lower level, 10 press ups, 14 in the middle, 18 if you uh, class yourselves a little bit higher level. When you've done your press ups, onto your backs, same number of half sits. Okay, so it's gonna be 10, 14 or 18 press ups, then half sits. Okay, and then squats. So that's three exercises, and we're doing it three times through. Okay, several ways you can do your half sits. You've got Paul here, he's got his hands on his thighs at all times, just sliding his palms up to his knees, a little bit higher if you can. Charlotte's got her hands on her head, up, halfway, back down, under control. Okay, so don't rush the exercise, try and keep control the whole time. And we've done our, uh, I'm guessing these two are doing 18. But when we're done, we're gonna stand up, and do the same number of squats, okay? No jump this time, just normal squats, trying to keep the back straight, head up, chest forward. Good. Weight going through your heels as you're going down. Good. As soon as you've done your 10, 14 or 18, we go back to our press ups and we start again. Good. So we've done our squats, and then we're gonna move back to the press ups again. In terms of where should your hands be, we're looking roughly underneath your shoulders, okay? Keeping your elbows slightly closer into the body than what uh, a lot of time you might do. However, if you do struggle to get your press ups done that way, just put your hands a little bit wider. Full could you do that now? So just hands a little bit wider if so. I sit straight to your half sits when I'm sharp. Okay, and you'll do them a little bit wider. Obviously, if you, you want to put your knees down, you can put your knees down or you can do it with no knees on the floor. Good. So we're on set two at the moment. We're doing it three times three. Good. As you're coming up, try and just looking up to the sky, ceiling, whatever's above you right now. Good. So we're into our second set of squats. Good. And then when we've done our squats, we've got one more round, press ups, half sits or squats again. So during the video, there'll be certain times as usual where I say, if you wanna go for a run now, pause the video, go do the run. Okay, whether you've got a garden, you're just gonna to run to the end of it and back a few times, or if you're going outside your house, down the road and up a few times, whatever. Okay, that's up to you. We're not gonna do that, okay? We're gonna go straight through the circuit Okay, but if you want to pause the video, I'll let you know when to pause it and go and do a run to break it up a little bit. And just to make the uh, workout a little bit longer as well. Good. It's good pull, well up. Good. Good, so when we've done our third set, we're gonna do 30 seconds of running on the spot with your knees up high. And then that will be the time at home if you want to pause it that's when you're gonna pause it, do a run, or just carry on with the video. If at any point you're feeling a little bit tired and you wanna drink or whatever, again, pause the video, grab yourself a drink. We're not gonna do that. Don't need a drink? No. No, good. So, as soon as we've done this, we're going high knees, 30 seconds.
guys. So, as soon as you're done at home, high knees, running on the spot. Everybody should be doing that now. Just do the exercises, just pause the video. When you finish your exercises, press play again, and then high knees. If you want to go for a run, again, pause the video, now's the time to go do it. Got 15 more seconds of high knees here. Good. Excellent guys, so if you've just done a run or if you stayed with us the whole time, you've still got another 10 seconds of high knees. Seven, six, five, four, keep it going guys, three, two, one. Excellent, we're going to do the press ups again. So we're going to do the same circuit again now, twice through. So press ups, half six, squats, twice through. This time with the squats, if you want to add a jump, you can. Obviously, if you're happy just doing your squat, keep your squats without the jump. Good. If you're getting tired with the press ups, just lower your knees to the floor, okay? Put the weight through your knees rather than your feet, take a bit of the weight off, make it a bit easier. Good. So, like I said, we're going to do this twice through. When we've done it twice through, that's the time. Either pause the video, do the run again that you did a minute ago, or uh, carry on, high knees, until we're all ready to move on. Good. Excellent guys. So, as you start going through the workout, you start getting a little bit tired. Obviously, just try and keep your form as much as you can. Focus on that. Try to keep the time between the changeovers to a minimum. So we're not going to rush the exercises. We are going to rush between the exercises. Good. So, one more time through then. Press ups first. Charlotte, you're doing 18? Paul, you're doing 18? Yeah. Okay, so they're both doing 18, so we'll see who finishes first. Good work, guys. Top work. Good, and then we've got a half six. Charlotte, what did you get your mum for uh, Mother's Day? Um, well, I was meant to take her out, but... Well, you can't take her out. Yeah, so... Flowers. Okay. Until I can take her out. Okay. <laughs> Well, who knows when that'll be. Yeah. Good. Excellent pulse, that is good. Good, so we've got our squats to go, and then we're going high knees again. At last check, uh, I think our YouTube channel had, I think, 22 subscribers. Pretty excited about that. I think my 15-year-old son's got more, though, from a few videos that he did on the computer game about five years ago. So the aim is to overtake him at some point. Good. Excellent, so as soon as we're done, knees up high. If you're already done at home, okay, knees up high whilst we wait for these guys to join in, or pause the video, crack on with your run. Good. And if you're back from your run, just join in with the high knees. We've got enough uh, 16 seconds to go. Good. 10 more seconds of high knees. And then we're going to go into one more round of the exercises once through to finish. Good work, guys. We've got another five, four, knees up high and fast. Nice work, guys. Let's go. Everybody now, press ups. Let's do it. So, last time through, one set, press ups, half six squats. Let's get it done. Good. Good work, guys. Remember, keep the form. If you're struggling, go knees down. Well done, Charlotte. That's good. Like that. Good work, Paul. What number are we on? Ten. Ten. Come on, eight more. Eight more press ups, Paul. Good. As soon as you're on your press ups, everyone, on your backs, half sits. Good. Good. Charlotte, add a twist to your half sits now, please. So, if you want to add a little bit, something different on your half sits, you can come up halfway like this, and then twist to one side, back down, twist to the other side. Okay? Little variation that you can add as well. Good. Let's sit a little bit higher. Good man, what up? Good. And when we've done our half sits, we finish with our squats. Again, if you want to add a jump, add a jump. If not, just regular squats. Charlotte's going to add a jump. Very good. She's still going to get low and then jump as high as she can. Good. Nice work, Paul. And then when she's done, knees up high, running on the spot. Good. Good work, guys. Good. That's it. So 30 seconds are starting now. Good. Join in as soon as you're ready. Good. Excellent, guys. I want everybody running on the spot with the knees up. 20 more seconds. 
pause the video now if you want, go and do whichever run you're doing, or just carry on doing what these guys are doing for another 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax there, guys. Good work holding the plank on your uh, mats, please. So everybody, we're now holding the plank. We're just gonna hold the plank while I explain what we're gonna do next. So we're gonna do five exercises for 30 seconds each. Also gonna have a 30 second rest at the end of that. That makes three minutes. We're gonna do that four times through. So 12 more minutes of work, 30 seconds rest after each five exercises. Okay, we'll go through the exercises we're working. Okay, I'll give you a few variations if you wanna do something slightly different, if you've got any injuries, etc., or if certain uh, exercises might be a bit much for you. So the first exercise we're gonna do is jump lunges. If you can't jump lunge, You'll be doing regular lunges which i'll demo as well okay so you two stand up little breather so 30 seconds jump lunge okay i want you to go about three quarters of the way down okay don't go all the way just three quarters of the way down but no pausing at the bottom so straight up straight down okay go let's do it so everybody now jump lunge that's it guys if you can't jump lunge then just hands on your hips down up just like so keeping your back straight Head forward, just like that. Then down and back. Knee, ankle roughly in line as you're going down. Get the knee as close to the floor as you can. Obviously, if you're in a garden, you've got concrete. Be a bit careful not to bash your knee. We've got five seconds, and then we're going to do side jumps without any props to start with, guys. And change. So feet together, jumping side to side. So at the moment, these guys are jumping side to side. You can make it a bit more of a challenge by putting a prop down like so and jumping over it like that. Anything as high as you like. You could use a weight, you could use a trainer, you could use Lego, whatever you want to use. When I say change, we're doing uh, side runs, which these guys will demo. And change. Let's go, guys. Good. So we're just going side to side, running side to side like this. Few steps, touch the ground, change. Just keeping yourself moving as quickly as possible. Good, 20 more seconds, guys. Good, keep pushing, guys, well done. Good, so just touching the floor, a couple of steps, touch the floor, nice work. Keep it going, guys. Good, in five seconds time, we're gonna change and go back to your mats. Good work, Paul, keep it going, guys. Good, change, back to your mats, plank position down. Next exercise, everybody's plank to press ups. So we're going to be in the plank, uh, plank position, change to the press-up position. Good, back to the plank, carry on guys. So, 30 seconds, plank to press-ups like so. Charlotte, can you change the single hand ones? So, if that's a bit hard, you can just do one hand up and down at a time like so. Or like Paul's doing, both hands up and down. Our last exercise, which we start in five seconds, is 180 degree jump squats. And change, let's go guys. So, we're going to squat down. Good, facing one side. Good, Charlotte, face me. Good, squat down there, and then facing there. There you go, perfect, so nice work. Good. Keep it going, guys. 15 seconds. Again, if this exercise is a bit much for you, just normal squats like I'm doing right now. Okay, we've got seven seconds, then we get a breather. Good, five seconds, good. Good, and rest there. 30 second uh, rest, everyone. Are we happy? Good, if you want to get a quick drink, help yourself, Charlotte. Paul, you alright? Yeah, good. Good. Okay, so that's one, two, three more times, okay, guys? Yeah. So, just a reminder the exercise is jump lunge, um, side jumps, side runs, plank to press ups, and then jump squats with a twist at the end, okay? And this time on the side jumps, you can jump over. You can have the trainer, you can have the weight. Okay. Jump, squat, uh, jump lunge first, go. Jump lunge first, Good, good. That's it, guys. So again, like I said, if jump lunge is a bit much for you, okay, just normal lunges like so, okay. Or if you want to give the jump lunge a try, but you feel how they're doing is a little bit hard, then what can you do? You just go down a small amount, just change like so, okay. And then just a little bit lower each time, and we'll progress that way. Good, and change, side jumps over your weight or the trainer, let's go. Good, excellent. She touched my trainer. <laughs> that, the baby fly 4%, yeah? <laughs> it's my first ever pair. 
take care of them. Here, 15 seconds, guys. And then Paul, take a few steps forward. Charlotte, a few steps, uh, sorry, Paul, a few steps back. Charlotte, a few steps forward. Good, six seconds. Yeah, maybe don't use a weight if you're not gonna get your feet over it. Good, excellent, guys, and change. So, Charlotte, step forward, Paul, step back. And side runs, go, let's go straight into it. Good, that's it. Good, that's it, Paul, stay behind the weight and then get yourself on it. And keep going, guys, side to side at home. Good. Keep it going, guys. 15 more seconds, and we're going back to our max for plank to press ups. Keep it going, guys. Seven seconds. Good. Five, four, keep moving. That's it, Paul, keep up, keep up. Good. And change. Back to your plank, uh, back to your mat. Plank to press ups. Go straight into it, guys. Good. So no pausing between the exercises. Straight into the exercise. It's plank to press ups, just like these guys do. Okay, again, another option, make it a little bit easier. Pull knees on the floor, please. So you could have your knees on the floor like so. Just keep your hips down, okay, whilst you're doing that. Knees up again, mate. That's it. Carry on. Five more seconds, guys. Four. And then we've got our jump squats facing inwards to start with. And change. So jump squat with a twist. So we're going to squat down. Let's go, guys. 30 seconds. You get arrested in a well, you get arrested 30 seconds, so we're not going to pause. Good. Back straight, head up there as you go down and up. Good. Keep it going, guys. You've got 15 more seconds. Good. Keep it going, guys. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Well done, guys. Relax. My train. <laughs> okay, guys. So two down, two to go. Yeah. Good. If you're getting a bit tired at home, now's the chance. Just have a quick pause. Grab yourself a drink. As soon as you're ready to go again, press play. Pause. <laughs> Good. Okay, guys. Five seconds, and we've got jump lunges. Ready? Stand by, guys. And lunging. Go. Nice work, good. So as I said earlier, don't go quite as low as these guys if you struggle with them, or just do regular lunges without the jump. Good, 15 more seconds, good. And then it's up to you whether you want to use the trainer or weight, or just jumping side to side if you don't want to jump over anything, it's your choice guys. Five seconds, and then we've got side jumps in three, two, go. Sorry. <laughs> Good. So you can use a uh, prop like Paul's doing to jump over, you know, whether it's a brick, weight, toy, anything. Like it, it, something that's not going to hurt you if you hit it though. I'm kind of glad Charlotte's not jumping over my trainer now. I'm a bit, a bit attached to that. Alright guys, keep it going. Not long to go. Then we're going to change two side runs in five, four, three, two, one. Change. Let's go. Side runs. Paul, take a step back. Good, behind the weight mate, that's it. Good. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Good, 15 seconds left, just running side to side. That's it guys, try to keep your back straight as you're going down and up, that's it, nice work. Keep it going guys, that's it, good, good, good. You've got five, four, three, two, one. Back to your mats, and we're on plank to press up, straight into it guys. Good. So everybody into the plank, thumbs down, back straight, pull your stomach muscles in, good, think posture, good, head just in a neutral position, looking slightly in front of where your hands are, good. Guys, we've got 10 seconds and we'll go have squat jumps. Good. Keep going guys, and change, so squat jump. Good. After this, we have a 30 second breathe again. Straight into it, guys. Well done. Good. Nice. Good. Good. 15 more seconds. Good. Remember, we're trying to get our weight through our heels. Good. Always thinking posture. Back straight. Good work, guys. Get a little bit lower if you can. Keep it going, guys. Four, three. Two, one, and rest there, guys. Good effort. Three down, one to go. Good. And then that's pretty much us done as soon as this is done. So one more round, and then that's us. Good. You still got much dog walking, Paul? Yeah, not good. Good man. Poor dad will just do it himself. <laughs> okay, guys.
guys, so five seconds. So we're gonna start with jump lunges again or regular lunges, whichever works for you. Go. So we're lunging to start with. Last round, everyone. Obviously, when we've done our last round, if you wanna pause the video or wind it back and do a few more rounds, obviously, be my guest. Way to make it a bit, uh, work out a bit longer if that's what you wanna do. Okay, or if you want, at the end of this round, pause the video, run, come back, press play, carry on. Good, change, let's go. So side jumps guys, side jumps. Good, that's it, all nice work. Good, that's it, fast feet. If with this exercise you struggle, should have said this earlier, what you can do, jumping's not an option, you can do one foot at a time, just like so, just side to side, just jumping like so, okay. So if you've just got to the end of the video and you thought, oh, what could I do instead of this? Well, now you can wind it back and do it again. Good, guys, side runs, change. Let's go straight into it. Behind the weight, pull in front of the weight, Charlotte. Good, last one. Good, faster you can. Try and move a bit faster, a bit faster. Good. Perfect work, guys, side to side. Keep going, 15 seconds. And then we're back to our mat for our plank to press ups. Good, keep running guys. Good, seven more seconds. Good, lost three, two, one, back to your mats. Let's go. Plank to press up, so off we go everyone. So we're now in the plank position. Remember what I said before, you can put your knees down if you want, or Charlotte again, quick demo on the single ones. So it'll be tap the floor down, tap the floor down. Okay, just like that. Or back to the normal ones. Good work. So both hands up now, that's it guys. 10 seconds, then we've got our squat jumps, and then we're finished. Except for a couple of extra bits at the end. Good. Three, two, one, and everybody stand up. And we're now squat jumping with the twist again. Let's go. Last time through, guys, don't rest now. Don't rest, keep pushing. So our last one, 20 seconds left. Good, that's it. That's it, guys, jump quickly. If you start to feel a bit dizzy, maybe take away the twist. Good. Let's go, guys, keep moving. 10. Nine, eight, keep it going. Good, last few. Good, good, last five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Relax there, guys. Well done, breather. Good effort, nice work. So, everybody, just relax, pause the video, go and do the run, or just join in, carry on where we are now. Just to finish off, lying on your backs, guys. So, sit up position, lying down, everybody. I'm just going to finish with a few hip raises, feet and knees together. Good, lying flat, bring your heels in fairly close towards you, like these two are doing. Push your hips up to the sky. Good, hold at the top, lift one foot slightly off the floor. Good, and then take your bum down to the floor, push up to the sky, and carry on. When I say change, we're gonna change legs. So we're just going slowly down and up, just slowly down and up. If one uh, legged hip raises are too hard, or you start cramping up in your hamstring, then both feet on the floor. Okay, change legs. Just slowly pushing up and down, working your glutes, your hamstrings, working that posterior chain. Good. If you're someone that does a fair amount of running, it's a very good, important exercise to do. Good, nice work. Change legs, do five on each leg this time. If you're at home, three, four, or five on each leg. We'll do it twice through, and then sit up, relax. Good. Again, just to reiterate, if you struggle with a single leg hip raise, you start cramping up, which is very common, especially if you're not used to this exercise, then just both feet on the floor at all times, slowly pushing up and down. The straighter your legs are, the more you're gonna feel it in your hamstring, the closer in your feet towards you, the more you're gonna feel it in your glutes. Good, so as soon as you're done guys, relax and just sit up. <coughs> Excuse me. Good. Finished? Yeah. Nice work, Charlotte. Well done. Sit up. Just relax. Good. And then we'll have a little stretch. I'm going to answer a few questions that have been sent in by our live audience. Well, not live actually, just the audience. Good. Well done, Paul. Take your time. Okay guys, so we're gonna start up, what we're gonna do, sit down, starting with a glute stretch, 
one leg crossed in like that, other leg over, and then just pulling it in, twisting towards the leg that was stretching. That's it. Okay, so just holding that stretch. Okay, a couple of questions. Felicity from Rygate asks, what cardio can I do at home? Skipping, is that any good? Ultimately, cardiovascular activity is getting your heart rate up and just getting you moving, okay? Getting the blood flowing through your body, raising your heart rate um, to a, um, a level which is above its normal. Um, skipping is good, yeah, if you're good at it, if you've uh, got the space. Skipping is a good option, rowing is a good option, walking up and down the stairs is a good option. So if you're stuck indoors, change legs guys. So if you're stuck indoors, um, there's a few options for you if you have a rowing machine, if you have a skipping rope. If you haven't, just walk up and down the stairs. If you haven't got stairs, just walk around. Okay, try and do it non-stop, constant. Okay, so you have got options. Okay, if you can't get out of your house. If you can get out of your house, brilliant. Walk up and down the garden. You can get outside. Just, yeah, running, walking, bike riding, anything works. Good. Um, I know some people are worried about losing their results at the moment, especially when it comes to running. If I stop running, will I lose results? Uh, well, the answer is yes, you will. If you stop running, you will lose some results. However, okay guys, feet together, knees to the outside, lean forward, stretch out your groin, like so. Good. So we've got a groin stretch going on. Once you're in that position, just hold that. So yeah, you're gonna start losing results. Generally, it takes about 10 days for you to um, start losing running fitness. Um, but the good news is it doesn't take as long to get it back, okay? So if you've been working hard for a year and you've got to a level, um, and then you don't run for a few months, it's not going to take you a year to get back to that level. Um, yeah, it, there's no definitive answer, but it doesn't take as long to get fitness back that you once had. Okay guys, so we're gonna stretch out our hip now. So up onto one knee. So we're gonna have both knees bent at 90 degrees. Good, both hands up in the air. Lean back, push your hip forward, and slightly lean towards the forward leg. Good, perfect. Um, so yeah, don't be too stressed and worried that you're gonna lose all the uh, running gains or fitness gains that you've made. You can always get them back quite quickly as long as you're gonna work hard at it uh, when you can. Um, how to stay motivated. Tough question. Um, we all struggle sometimes with motivation. Um, what I would say is accountability helps. So if you've got a group of friends, you know, tell them you're going to work out, and then they it's their job then to pester you and make sure you, you've done it. Going to change sides, guys. So yeah, having a group of people. Obviously, a great outdoor fitness. We're quite lucky that we've got a massive community of uh, people that come to the classes. You know. Go on social media, message your uh, friends that you sometimes train with. Okay, give yourself some accountability, some small short-term targets, and just try and hit them. Okay, if you're, you know, in the current situation where we're not able to get out in the parks and train all together and work hard for each other, okay, and where we're doing online stuff or you're having to do stuff on your own, going for a run on your own, you know, just give yourself small short-term targets. Okay. Okay, guys. So stand up, legs wide, and go as low as you can. Good, take both hands to the left foot and hold it there. Good. Um, and then finally, different speed running sessions somebody wants to know about. Firstly, if you go on greatoutdoorfitness.com, in the blog section, there is an article in there with three very basic uh, running workouts for 5K and 10K work. Change sides, guys. Um, if you go in there, that'll give you a few basic ideas. But good news is, every week, on a Go Fitness on the Facebook page and Instagram page, and also on the Great Outdoor Fitness Runners group, I'm going to post a couple of workouts every week in there that you can do on, uh, on your own um, in the parks or around where you live, whatever. Okay, we'll um, we'll design them that so you can pretty much do them um, anywhere. Okay, down to the middle, please, guys. Good. And slowly come up. Good. Left arm across the body. Keep the shoulder low. Put it in. Stretch out the back of your shoulder. Yeah. Like I said, we're going to post stuff uh, which will have um, running workouts on our uh, pages for you to that you can do. Good. Change sides. Good. And then 
like I said, in terms of how motivated are you going to be to do it, a bit of accountability, you know, do the run, post it, tell us how you got on, okay, and then everybody will say, well done, that was brilliant, because that's what people say, you know, you could, you could run an eight hour marathon and everybody's going to praise you, you know, or you could run a two and hour marathon and everybody will praise you just the same as the eight hour marathon, let's be honest. Good, okay guys, both hands out to the front, reach forward like so. Good, keep holding that position. Good, and final one, hands on your kidneys, chest out, look up slightly. Good, last stretch. Good, thanks for joining us today guys. Charlotte, thanks very much. Paul, thanks very much. And um, yeah, anyway guys, I thought they were pretty good today. So uh, if you wanna be in one of these videos, um, you know. obviously send me a message. And uh, we're going to get more out every week. Cheers, guys. Thanks a lot, everyone. See you soon.